With Terence Crawford's recent performances, he solidified himself as one of the best out there right now, and Floyd Mayweather has given his thoughts on the fighter. A lot of people have tried to predict what would happen in fantasy fights between Terence and other great boxers, but some of the predictions for Terence vs. Floyd Mayweather have raised some questions in the boxing community. Tim Bradley stated, Terence Crawford would beat Floyd Mayweather. I'm telling you right now, he would beat him. Crawford, a master thinker just like Floyd, has the advantage that he not only can fight orthodox but is versatile and can fight in the southpaw stance. Floyd is one of my favorite fighters of all time. He's a fantastic fighter. Floyd, a defensive master with great feet, quickness, and agility, would undoubtedly be Crawford's toughest opponent. With that said, Carl Frampton's prediction got a lot of people wondering if the rumors would be true. Carl stated, There is a big statement that I want to make here. The fighter of our generation, everyone will probably agree, is Floyd Mayweather. I think that Terence Crawford is now the fighter of our generation. That performance beats Floyd Mayweather at his best at welterweight. I genuinely believe that. Jim Lampley was worried about looking at a hypothetical fight, but he didn't deny that Terence was definitely one of the greatest of our time. Jim stated, Floyd Mayweather is an all-time great. Terence Crawford, I think, will turn out to be an all-time great. So it's very hard to pick, and I think it would depend on what moment in Mayweather's career and what moment in Crawford's career are we talking about that taking place. It became more and more clear that he could win that way against anybody. It became more and more clear that he built his audience not necessarily so much from the style that he did in the ring as from the style of what he did on social media. That's a different formula from the one that Crawford is using. So I wouldn't want to pick that fight until I saw at what moment in their career such a thing would take place. It's always dangerous to pick utterly hypothetical fights that are never going to take place except somewhere in your mind. Shane Mosley has been in the ring with Floyd and he gave his opinion with his first-hand experience in mind. Shane stated, Floyd's a master boxer and he's a winner too. They both have that will to win, but who's going to break whose will? That's the thing. That would be the question. Can Crawford break Floyd's will or could Floyd break Crawford's will? We really won't know because Floyd had his era and Crawford has his era. All we can do is be happy with having Crawford right now to fight all these great fights. When talking about the recent fight between Errol Spence and Terence Crawford, Keith Thurman pointed out that this was something that Floyd had never accomplished in his career. Keith stated, These are two undefeated champions. The real thing is that Thurman was not supposed to slip up in 2019. If I was an undefeated champion, we would have been unified titles together. Two champions of this caliber, undefeated, going to unify the entire division, doing something unprecedented, something that Floyd Mayweather never accomplished in his career. This is what our generation needs. They need that to gain the status. They're both future Hall of Famers but somebody's just going to have a few more words to say on their plaque at the end of the day. That's what fighting is all about. When Terence was asked who he thought would win in a potential match, he had no problem telling everyone that he thinks he's the greatest now. Terence simply stated, Me, man, me. Me versus anybody, I'm going to always say me. Terence did give credit to Floyd and his legacy, though, and he stated, It'd have to be Mayweather, everything, not just because of the record, fighting style, everything that surrounds Money Mayweather, it would have to be Mayweather. When asked if he had any plans taking on Floyd's record of 50-0, Terence was very blunt about his response. Terence stated, Nah, I ain't ever thought of reaching 50-0, that's the Mayweather thing, that's his record, I commend him, he can have that, not at all. Billy Nelson also ended up comparing Terence Crawford to Floyd Mayweather. When it's the, a legend, a one-off, uh, supreme boxer, absolute masterclass performance. I mean, to produce that performance against such a high-quality opponent, fantastic. Just absolutely fantastic. You don't need to be throwing tables at people and shouting maximum violence and, you know, attack guys at, at, at weigh-ins. He conducted himself, as did Spence consummate professionals and he, he, he had a professional a professional manner about him I think he's better than Mayweather anyway you he's, think... certainly more like, he's, he's certainly more likeable than Mayweather Jeff Mayweather doesn't think that Terence has reached the level of being one of the greatest boxers of all time though Jeff stated in their primes I mean it'd be a great fight 
I mean, both guys are pretty much masters at what they do. You know, Floyd, granted, it's not that long ago, but he's, what, 15 years removed from his prime, right? Of course, I'm going to pick Mayweather. Do you think it's kind of a case of recency bias where he looks so great in his last fight, so now all of a sudden he's the greatest ever? Crawford is a great fighter, and he did something that I think was shocking to almost everyone. You know, because that was really his biggest fight, and basically, everyone thought that fight was going to give and take both ways, and it only went one way. Floyd's obviously not a one-dimensional fighter. Calvin Ford seems to remember a conversation where Floyd said that he'd come out of retirement to fight Terrence. Calvin stated, The question is, is Floyd going to come out of retirement and fight Crawford? I remember a statement where he said that if Terrence beat Spence, then he would come out of retirement. That's a good one because you've got the old great against the new great. The pay-per-views would be stupid. Even the rapper Papoose compared Terrence to Floyd when he gave his prediction for Terrence's last fight. He stated, If I've got a lean, then I'm going towards Bud. He downloads information in the first two rounds. It's the same Mayweather does. While you're fighting, he downloads and he uploads that whooping later on. Floyd's trainer Nate Jones thinks that Floyd's big boxing days are over and he doesn't think that he should take a fight with someone like Crawford. Nate stated, Floyd's window is closed. He won't be in a big fight anymore. He doesn't need it and I think he'll get hurt. Keep doing them, but don't fight Errol Spence Jr. and don't fight Terrence Crawford. Leave those boys alone. He's retired. Stay retired. New exhibitions. Don't f with the boys. At one point, Floyd had complimented Terrence on him being a top boxer and he stated, The powerful top boxer in boxing right now is Terrence Crawford. I just truly believe he doesn't have to be under my company for me to give a guy props. I'm not like that. When Floyd was approached to talk about Terrence and Errol, he simply pointed out that his legacy is not one that will be forgotten anytime soon. Floyd stated, When the history books are written, they're going to say Floyd Mayweather was the smartest one. Y'all can win the most belts, that's fine. I won the most checks, and I wanted the biggest checks. My philosophy is never stop getting it. So with that, I will always continue to entertain and have fun, and the number is always between 8 or 10 or 50 or 60. This is free money. I will continue to pick up free money. Floyd did compare Terrence Crawford to an earlier version of himself though, and he stated, Terrence Crawford is a hell of a fighter. Do I think he's going to be in the Hall of Fame? Absolutely. We're not talking about Money Mayweather, we're talking about Pretty Boy Mayweather. We're talking about 90% knockout ratio. We're talking fast hands, fast feet, and combinations. I mean, a complete fighter. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to subscribe and check out some of our other videos on the screen right now.